okay good evening everyone and today video I'm going to unboxing my new redmi soundbar okay as you can see on the table now I have my redmi soundbar in the box and on the back is the me TV and after unboxing this redmi soundbar we are going to connect it with the mi tv together okay now let's take it out from the box Okay, inside we have only this soundbar and you can compare it to my 32 in TV side. It's just a, a little bit longer than my 32 in um, TV and inside the box we have this uh, PDIF connection and another accessory we have this uh, screwdriver to hold the soundbar to the wall manual user manual you can see is the connection here is the SPDIF connection to the TV okay it also can connect the Bluetooth from your phone okay now let's try to connect to the TV okay before we get start connect to the TV let's check out the uh, connection in this uh, redmi soundbar here we have the uh, SPDIF connection and we have this uh, connection cable from this one to the TV in, and this cable is come inside with the this redmi soundbar and another one is the AUA input so we can use the audio cable connect to this one and connect to your headphone connection at the TV okay let's check it out and another function we can connect it by Bluetooth okay and on the right side you can see this redmi logo and we only have some control function here below that redmi logo we have the power button volume up and volume down button and this is the inputs button okay to get started you need to input the power supply to it and after that just uh, press hold on this uh, power button okay when you hear that sound now the sound bar is turned on and you will see this bluetooth logo here blinking that means it's now available to connect and to change the input if you want to connect to the bluetooth just press this one aux. now you hear the aux it means the connection to the audio SPD. and spd is the spd connection that i show you the cable the cable that we get inside the box and this is the chinese language i don't know what is it but uh, it is a uh, represent the bluetooth connection aux. okay and then it back to aux again so we only have the three function bluetooth spdif and the audio connection okay now let's try to connect one by one 
Now we try to connect it with my Xiaomi TV. We go to the setting device add accessory and here I already connect it last time so now we just uh, press to connect it once again or uh, if you not yet connect it just press this uh, add accessory and it will search for the sound bar okay so I now need to search it again just connect it Okay, I think it's now already connect. Okay, let's try to unpair it and connect it once more time. Okay, add accessory. We need to press the input again. SPD. Okay, when you see this uh, Bluetooth. When you see that uh, blue logo blinking, that means it's now available to connect. And now it's the Redmi TV soundbar available. We just press pairing. Pair. Okay, now connect. Okay, and we now playing through the sound from the sound bar. And another thing, if you want to connect the audio, you need to buy additional accessory. This one is the audio to audio. You can see here it can connect from multiple device. So before you connect it, just. Uh, May change the input of your soundbar. Ox to ox. And now, when we change to ox, the TV is playing through its speaker. You can see now there's no Bluetooth. And then connect the sound bar to that up. Okay, and you need to find the. Okay, so you need to find that headphone connection on the back of your TV. You need to make sure that uh, it looks like this and the meaning of the text is similar to the headphone connection and audio connection something like this okay now connect to that port okay now it already connect and now let's play around i try to volume up Okay, I'm going to find free music. Okay, and the sound is come from the this Redmi soundbar. And another thing is the SPDIF connection. This MITV don't have that port, so we can only connect to the Bluetooth and the audio input to the TV. So you can choose two options. 
for me I, I mostly I use the Bluetooth connection we just connect only one time and then when we turn the TV and the sound bus on together it will automatically connect so we no need to redo connect the Bluetooth again and again okay now uh, for this up function can take out from the TV and now just play this again it's now it's playing through the TV speaker and you can also connect the redmi soundbar to your smartphone through that port okay now i try to play some free music same video okay okay so that redmi soundbar you can connect to a tv to a smartphone by using that audio cable connection or connect through the bluetooth you can just search from your smartphone and you will see the redmi soundbar available just uh, the thing you need to know that you need to make change the input function to the correct direction that you want to connect for example if you want to connect to a bluetooth just press the input button to the bluetooth function and then you can connect or you want to connect to the audio just press it to the aux and then just connect it and the two device is connect to each other okay and all you need to do just play around with it and you will understand the point okay one last thing when you stop using the redmi soundbar you need to turn the soundbar off before you take out the power supply and to turn it off just press the power button hold it on for about one to two seconds and then it will turn off so now let's turn it off together okay when you heard the sound it's now it turning off and now let me say goodbye thanks for your time watching this video i hope to see you again in the next video bye bye and have a nice day